Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tower of Spirit, a turn-based RPG roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. Out now on Steam, so in we're gonna go to see what it's all about. Looks like we got different characters, but right now we will be Pandy. Okay. Uh, in we go. In Tower of Spirit, you'll control a group of characters who are trying to reach a mysterious tower to break free from a curse. Your characters will progress automatically along the path and experience different types of random encounters. Alright. Battles are turn-based with each character and enemy acting one after the other. All your characters share the same HP and MP pool. If your HP drops to zero, it's game over. Every character has a unique basic attack, a passive, and a set of capacities. Those last cost MP, but are really powerful. I mean, capacities, I guess. You can use your basic attack to restore 2 MP if you need. Always keep an eye on the enemy next move above their head. To reduce the damage, remember, you can also use the guard action to reduce incoming damage by 50%. Defense will not prevent damage in this game. Whenever you take a hit, your defense will goes down. There's definitely some translation things here. When you don't have defense anymore, an enemy, will, whoever performs the last hit, will be able to act again immediately. Called This is called a break. Okay, so we have the armor up here. Gotcha. When you take a hit, defense goes down. If it goes down to zero, they will get to go again. It's like a... It's probably more better to think of it as like a stun gauge. Enemies also have their own defense points. Reduce them to zero, and you'll be able to use your last character again right away or transfer that free turn to another character. Think carefully, and you might be able to chain a multiple break. Like HP or MP, defense is common to your group. As long as they are in your party, each character will bring their own defense stat to your total defense group. Gotcha. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a basic attack. It's so far up there. <laughs> 11 damage costs nothing. Uh, capacities, there's the guard. Let's check the capacities. Trap one foe until they take a hit. Is it like a stun until they take a hit? Can cancel channeling. Restore all of your defense. Provoke all foes. 22 damage to all foes. This costs 10. I feel like, shouldn't we just maybe like... And we can hit you in two. Because defense down... Defense will drop down by two per hit instead of one. That's Okay, that's your passive. All right. I, I see. I played Persona 5, and I want to uh, make my game a little bit like it. But I, kinda, I dig that. It's a fun little visual. Emblem. Certain battles or events will grant you emblems. They're powerful objects you can equip and change only be Ooh, between encounters. Mm -hmm. Hollow Knight-style badge system. Paper Mario-style badge system. You cannot equip them all at the same time. Think carefully as you need a certain amount of emblem nodes for each of them. Restore 5 HP after successful battle. Whenever you gain a new emblem, gain 15 gold or basic attack damage up by 2. Gotta tell you, this as a first emblem sounds like a big deal. Your character progresses through a series of random encounters. Choose your path wisely and the reward associated to it. Between encounters, you can freely change your characters of your party and your emblems equipped. Only 3 characters can be in your active party, but more can be found during your run. You can only equip emblems as long as you have enough emblem nodes. More nodes can be gained through battles and events. Always look for this if you want to equip more emblems. Gotcha. So we have three... Gotcha. Yep. Oh, this is so... This is so Hollow Knight here. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. So we have that one already. I think that we'll keep that node for a little bit. I feel like a new member of the party, right? Max MP up. I do like the kind of like uh, like flash animation visuals to it too. Cross a road of a curious character, a mercenary like you, also a victim of the Tower of Spirit. Add Korra into your group? Sure. Korra's happy to join your group. After all, you have the same goal. So what is your deal? So Okay, so the bruiser, the defense down is your passive. Korra's attacks have a 25% chance to crit. Crit doing 150% of damage. So 50, does it do 50% more? Or does it mean does 150% more damage? I'm assuming it means what it says. Two times eight damage to all foes. So does eight damage twice? 
presumably. 40% crit chance for all of Korra's attacks for the entire battle. Crits do 200% of base damage. Interesting. Restore 20 HP. Cost 8 MP. That seems like a really nice character to have. Uh, max HP up or an unknown. I'll, I'll take some max maximum HP. The fact that it's not... <laughs> the fact that it's not just uh, a heal is actually really appealing. So your basic attack is 2 times 5. Does that break armor twice? Oh my god. So wait, so if we, if we put the uh, inflict defense down... That's a debuff they get, and then you could theoretically... That seems really good. That being said, I think we are going to go for a... Um, you're next. Oh, we don't get to choose? Oh, we, have, we choose our target beforehand. Gotcha. Uh, that might change what I do. Because I was going to go and do the 22 to all foes, and now it feels a little bit wasteful. Music good. Restore all of your defense. Uh, what is prov provoke all foes? I'm assuming it's provoke, but what does that mechanically mean? Because it's not like make them attack pandy because we are all pandy in a way, right? Screw it. How much MP do we get? get back? God, we could have won this fight. I well, won this fight already. That being said, yep. Okay, that reduces the armor twice. Okay, that's already a really good synergy. Add a new character or get a new emblem. God, a new character sounds good, but we really do like emblems. So we can start the stack. <laughs> so we got back uh, two MP. Two times three, two, five here. So why does it matter that we're attacking Pandy, huh? Because it, it, it says that it says who they are attacking. There's got to be a reason why that matters. Oh, it's for guard. It's for guard. That's right. And surely there will be. Well, if we provoke and then we guard, that does make some sense. Two times eight all foes. Meh. We can take some damage. We absolutely can take some damage with the Grand Pause ability here that kind of solves things a little bit. We could also get a... Oh, we can get the stun. Because armor's going down. God, I wish you went in, in a different order. So we get the break. That means we get to go again. We can transfer our free turn to another character if we want to. There's not necessarily a reason to. Um, I'll apply the weaken on you. Yow, yow. I mean, that's a lot of damage. So we do this. Oh my god, yeah, the break works really, really well there. So if we transfer the free action to pay the you get to go twice? Yes. Because we... And we... Okay, but we can't swap it back then. That's fine. What are you doing? You intend to use a buff. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to guard for a sec. Because we have the ability to heal for eight, and we have full mana, so I think it kind of makes some sense. I'm doing five over here. <laughs> okay mechanically this game is kind of sick with it <laughs> as far as like a a, a roguelike interpretation of a turn-based rpg like it's kind of hidden when you break all damage increase are increased by 25 percent, even for enemies uh, it, this costs three gain an extra fragments of spirit at the end of a battle. What is a Fragments of Spirit? Maybe this? All capacities cost two less than they normally would. I kind of want to get that 
for the future. Get an extra emblem, emblem node. Like, that's a big deal. I feel like it's... It's asking for a game break, you know? Ball. We do this followed by the AoE. It breaks your armor, which means you get a go again as well. We, we should have moved to you because I think we actually might get more mana back with the other. Bonfire allows you to restore HP or MP or gain an emblem node in order to equip more emblems. Cool. I would like the emblem nodes. 30% of both. 50% of MP. Give me, give me a node. So now we can equip this already. More node, more power. A shop, perfect place to acquire more emblems. Um, I mean, we have, we're maxed out right now. Let's get an emblem node. I know we get money for getting more emblems, but let's get, let's get the node first. God, I wish we could transfer order. Is there... You know what? Maybe there is a way. Maybe if I check here. Because that could be a really big deal. So you're both attacking Pandy. I do... I do want to get the reduction there. I think that... I think I'm willing to take the damage. The fact that we have the heal is a really big deal. Because that gives us our break. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we can get the double. That does help. Intends to start channeling a powerful attack. We'll go ahead and we'll hit you with this. I mean, we could break you. We could we could kill. The question is if it'd be better to heal. Would it be better to heal? Send it. I really like this little visual here. Okay, so what do we... We have the extra emblem slot. Nothing to do with it. Uh, MP max does seem nice, but hit me with an unknown. Oh, hello, sorry to bother you, but any chance you could spare some coins for an old soldier like me? If you prefer, I could also grab something useful for you, but it's not cheap. Hmm. Question mark, question mark, question mark, lose 20 gold. I mean, I'll take... I do want an emblem node. I feel like emblem nodes are a really big deal. Especially since I want to stack them pretty highly right now. Oh, new emblem. I, give me a new character first. Give me a new character. I don't want to pass on a new character for longer because it feels like that's a big deal. Cross the road of curious character mercenary like you. Pegasus? <laughs> Pegasus? <laughs> okay. Welcome, Pegasus. What is your deal? Oops. Just in case. What if? What if it's... Reverse order there. Inflict burn when damaging a foe. I feel like it's down to speed. Speed 18. We want Pandy's speed to be up. For sure, but... Inflict burn when damaging a foe. Do extra damage on the foe afflicted with burn. How much more? Damage to all foes. Provoke all foes. Consume all burn stacks active. Ooh. Okay, it's interesting. So what's your... Uh, they also all have a unique basic attack, too. Let's go bold. So we have you in front. Gain a random emblem or take the shovel emblem. I don't know what the shovel emblem is. A witch stone emblem. 
increase your max MP by eight. Nothing wrong with that. It's also it's a it's a one node cost thing. Give me a free one, right? Yeah, just get one for free here. Bow. <laughs> Act now. Next. Gotcha. So yeah, order not changing there. Boink, boink. So who goes next? So Pandy goes next. I don't know. Your attack is you have nine attacks. So you're you wouldn't actually kill. But I'll tell you what. Let's get a little bold with it. 14 to all foes, we break. It just it just sounded fun to do, okay? I feel OP. Basic attack damage up by two. On character who attacks twice, that's a big deal. Increase the damage of characters by one. Is all it's a big deal, but I'll drop that for now. Bonfire. We have the ability to heal ourselves, so I'm just gonna say screw it. Give me the emblem node. Like th this character seems so strong. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> I could do without that every time. Wait, don't we just um insta win with the AoE attack from Pandy? Two times seven as well, and this is really good. The answer is yes, we absolutely would. Hmm. But should we... Should we? Because I want to heal. Let's do, let's do both. I mean, this move is cracked. I feel like I'm not supposed to be that strong there. New emblem. We have two emblem slots. Just hit me with a random one. Getting a bunch of cash, so like checking out a shop does seem like a good idea. Alright, so Pandy, you hit over. Uh you hit over here. Oh, you're slower than them. I didn't even consider that that could be a thing. I didn't even consider that that could be a thing. That didn't break. Even though you had the weekend. Am I... What What am I missing there? I did not even consider for a second that that... That you could be slower than enemies. It's never happened before. Whenever an enemy dies, get back an MP. Alright, we'll buy some emblems. We can kind of get a feel for what the economy is like now, too. When HP is below 20%, increase all characters' damage. Max HP, start a battle. Restore 15% of missing. More emblem node. Head MP. Emblem nodes. Let's do it. I do. It's, it's an HP max. I do really appreciate that. Okay, so we do, we go before you. I really do want to try rap here, but it's just like. Cannot move next turn. Just the ability to do the break just seems so useful, you know? Oh. So what's the, what did this what did the stun do for us then, huh? So what did the stun do for us then? We got the HP. Hit me with some randoms. Do it. Upgrade an upgrade an emblem. That's a thing.
Okay, so the upgrade is it is cheaper for that one. It's it's different. Ooh, two MP per. I do like. Let's get the basic attack damage up just because it, it's two on you. Like, that is a big deal. Hi, little guy. Upgrade a random emblem. Good day, you fellow travelers. Discovering the area. Oh, you're looking for the tower, I see. Well, better share stories before one of us died. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, of course. The Traveler's Journal Emblem. Whenever you arrive at a bonfire, get five fragments of spirit. That seems like a big deal. You know what? I'm going to do this. Because we're not even at max anyways. And there you go. It's a freaking bonfire right there anyways, man. We could do this. I'm just not worried enough. <laughs> you know? I'll be worried in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that checks, that checks out. Okay, you're doing seven over here. It's getting crit chance for the whole battle. Feels much more useful on a boss fight. Applying the armor break feels like a really big deal. We got the seven. I feel like applying the burn makes sense, too. You also have the weekend. Now we start to go for the whoop whoop. The 13. Now the question is is a little bit more interesting. Trap foes. Trap a foe until he takes a hit. Yes. Duh. Okay. I don't know what that does then, right? Because. Theoretically, right there, he was trapped. He didn't take a hit. That shouldn't have been like a... Okay, so you got two stacks of the burn. We'll go bang, bang. We'll be able to get the break now, at the very least. Is it just for stopping channeling? Maybe. All right, we go ahead. We swap that to you. We break four armor per attack on that. Oh, Jesus. Intends to do 21 damage to your group. To your group, though. What does that mean? Mechanically speaking, does that mean we're taking 63 damage? Or does it mean we'd have to block with everybody to stand a shot there? And what would provoking do? I think you do this. We get a break. We do get to break. God, I really... Intents are unknown. Intense to inflict a negative. So it does work for stopping those things. You can inflict a negative status on the target. One HP. We also have the critical chance still. Uh, is it time to, to proc this? Probably. Because I think we're killing this turn. Yeah, I think we're absolutely killing this turn. I mean, maybe we'll just get healed after the boss, so let's just go ahead and pop it. Do we get healed? Max heal? After boss? Max heal after boss? This game is good. This game is good. Like a very solid little turn-based RPG. Nice. I mean, hit me with a random. Hi. Woo, fellow 
fellow travelers. Would you be kind enough to help me collect and sample the monster of the strange forest? I'll reward you with a unique emblem. Start the biologist quest. When you fight a monster, you can call me to collect a sample. You need to collect three samples. I'll catch up later. Okay. I'll get a new emblem. We, we might be able to sub something out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go nuts with it so that we can maybe, like, chill. Beep. Oh, wait. That did damage, too. When you do damage to an enemy, do one more damage for every active status. Restore 5 HP after every battle. If fire, if burn stacks like multiple, that's a really big deal. But this costs four. This is so good because it also only costs one. It's easier to do that when we're not at max MP. Just because it does it in the generous way. It doesn't get, it doesn't reduce our current MP by eight as well. Pray for strength. I'm a strength. You can only have three, right? Uh, you know what? I don't care. Oh, who the hell? Add Miggy. I, I just wanted to see, you know? Poison Mistress. Inflict poison whenever damaging a foe. Two times four damage to all foes. Remove all negative effects from your group and give poison shield to each. When the character receives damage, the attacker's poisoned. Start rolling when rolling. Restore a defense at the end of each turn. I might prefer you to Pegis. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm an adult. I think that might be might be better here. I'm vibing with just the emblem node up at every single campfire. I'm not going to do it over an emblem node. I'll do it over some max HP. Take a sample from the target. You know... Ah, dang it. I want to get the um, the sample. That's the thing. So I'm willing to take these hits. I really want to. I want to get the sample. The six damage. Let's complete the quest. Let's complete the quest. I want to get the, the unique thing. We'll, we'll deal. We'll deal. Two times eight. Ooh, I can't target anybody else. We are cursed. We cannot target anybody else. It's fine, I guess. 14, and then we have... We, we do get the kill anyways, though. We're still chilling. All right. Do we complete this quest now? Was it? I thought it was three. I thought it was three. Maybe we need to see him again in another event. 99 armor. We still have it. I guess it wasn't three, huh? It should definitely say right here how many we need, because I, I thought it was three. Hmm. 
Eggborn. Only six for that. It's, it's not too bad. Three times zero. You know what would be kind of good here is the... Um, Catalysis. Poison shield. When a character receives damage, attack is poison. That would be good. I guess we'll just try and collect some sample just in case. It also kills, you know... <laughs> That five sample. Okay. Collect sample. Collect sample. I have so many samples. Gain an extra fragment of spirit at the end of every battle. Increase the damage of all characters by one. Does take three. I mean, this is meta currency for unlocking new characters. I just want to do it. It, it. I just want to. Is that a good enough reason? I just want to. All right. We, that, it definitely was not seven that we needed, right? Okay. So we do 16. All right, we will uh, we'll go whoop, we'll go big with this one. Doesn't matter. Prevent from losing defense. We don't have any negative effects that I'm worried about. Two times four to all foes, and then they would theoretically get poisoned. Start rolling when rolling one defense at the end of every turn. Unlock the rolling strike capacity. I really, I do want to know, but I just need to attack to get some mana back. Ugh. Ugh. Don't know what you're doing, but I'm just going to hope it's fine. We got to... We gotta attack to get the actual mana back too. Are oh, you doing the curse? Cool. We're chilling. We're chilling. Start a battle. Restore a lot. Yeah, damage against channeling enemies increased. I don't have room for that yet. I can maybe get rid of something. Finally. Yeah, the magic wand upgrade just being a cheaper. I don't, eh. We could take this off for now, but it's only one. We'd have to take off another one. We could do that for the time being. Bow. I'm so confused. I thought that we only need like a little bit. Okay. Were they channeling? Is that what that was? Were they were they channeling? I'm gonna do this just in case I forget before I get there. Or maybe this could be a bonfire. I feel like I should get some more max MP, but hey, a stranger thing can send you in trouble. I'll take one of this, it'll definitely up. Which one will be? Oh. I hate you. Alright. I would like some max MP now. We got it on. Good deal. Yeah, okay. Give me some MP. Give me some stinking MP. 
Bow. <laughs> 32 on it. So why? Did I crit? Maybe I crit. I actually wish we didn't kill there in a little bit of a goofy way. <laughs> Get another freaking sample. I'm going to have so many samples. Enemies preparing a dangerous attack. I mean, we'll get an extra turn because of the break here. Three times zero. It did it didn't do zero damage last time, right? Either way. This sounds fun. It only costs one. Yeah, it's not it, it's doing more than it says. This only took one. Do you not have, wait, do you not have poison shield? Oh, poison shield is a single turn of vibe. Gotcha. So it's not actually that busted. You can only do it once. Not single turn, uh, single use. Okay, okay. Sword stuck in a rock draws your attention. A benevolent energy emanates from the pedestal. Perhaps you extract it. Lose 10 max MP with 100% chance. Uh, I want to know what it is so bad. This better be good. Increase all characters' speed by 4. You know it's good. But it's... I don't know if I would have done... Uh, I don't know if I would have done that in hindsight. Give me give me MP. I'm going to go for random with the hopes that I find freaking MP. Because that, that's upsetting. Gain a key? Lose 75 gold? I... Can be used to open a treasure chest. I don't think I've seen one. I have so many emblems and not enough emblem slots. Oh, you have emblems I've cherished. I was cherished. Give me some gold. I'll make them back to their true form. Can I? Okay, so you can upgrade one that's already been upgraded. Increase their speed by six. You could go full meta cheese. Seven HP. That one is pretty good. Meh. I'm not like... I guess I'll, I'll take the extra speed. So we should be going oh, come over a badge slot, though. Over a badge slot, though. Fine. 17 is just too low. It, it's, it's, it's far too low. I mean, we can win right here. Should I? Probably not. If we get the two MP back vibe, I think that'd be really good too. That's good enough. <laughs> Give me more badge slots. So I can put on my, uh, my max MP badge. You're doing 10 and I do not like that. Your attack is 12. Okay, so you probably do 11, right? The thing is, when we start to do a lot of damage, we don't get nearly as many breaks. It's kind of a weird little thing. Mm. 
I did forget about the poison. We've not had any issues with the defense yet either. Incoming Ow, though. Okay, we, we have a full turn before they go. So this sucker's dead as hell. We get all that back. We're not at full HP. I don't think I'm that worried, though. All right, get the MP badge back on. Actually, get the campfire badge back on. Okay. I feel like, I was going to say, I feel like we got to be at a boss here, right? I, I'm concerned we're about to roll into somebody who's just going to go, just absolutely roll us, but same deal. I like the idea of getting the huge crit chance right away. Applying the, um, the defense down break feels very important. And I really want to know what the hell this is all about. Ah! Shoot! <laughs> oh, did we... Crit? No, never mind. I thought it said 2 times 18. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You are going to go first. We get to go again, though. I think we get the, uh, the double. We're, we're, we want to work on that break. Rolling strike. Oh, stop rolling. Rolling strike. 18 damage to a foe. Increase per... Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. That being said, I do think I unfortunately want to stop here, but I love that. Uh, back to you. That's so strong. I mean, we're getting, we're getting smacked around there, but... No shot we do anything other than, you know, <laughs> just go as much as we can with you. Capacities. Intent unknown. We don't need to provoke here. Don't need to stall. Give a sample of this. <laughs> the BM. Absolute BM. Okay, you go again. I think you just take it. You just take it. I have a feeling we can't stack that, but... Two times four. I feel like poison doesn't stack, but I am going to just give it a try. It does. Boink, boink. It also means with the armor, uh, the double armor loss there. Ooh. Okay, absolutely. We go for the Allegro. Intense unknown is probably just another summon. We get we get the mana back, right? Bop bop. This character's busted, man. We go for the uh, the extra. We can. It also gets four as well there. Boop boop. You gonna do your thing? What? What? What, what even was that? Damage increased by three and defense by one per monster eaten. Not particularly worried, if I'm going to be honest. Look at this! What is this? BM, get a sample. Your speed is out the wazoo, dude! Man! It's getting to the part where I do probably have to run here, but let's see what a zone looks like here. Oh, that great. Absolutely love that for us. Love that time if it's two zones into a boss fight. I don't mind that. 
Spirit instability lose 500 HP every turn. It feels like we should stop you from doing your thing. But I have to I have to do this weekend. I'm not confident this is gonna be the answer. You have so much HP. Intends to do ten times four damage to a random target. Ah. Okay, so we should have stopped that. We should have stopped that. Okay. Okay. And it's a random target, so I can't really, like... I mean, let's see. I feel like this doesn't... Oh, it does work. Okay, keep on stacking the poison. Like, maybe that'll that'll eventually get to be something. You know what? Send it. I got an achievement for do 100 or more damage to a single enemy. I mean, it, not to brag, it was uh, pretty easy there. Because <laughs> he just did it to himself. It's This is kind of just, like, see if we can stay alive. And really, I think that we absolutely can. We just need to keep on going for those heals. We have the armor here. Like... What happens if we do this? So we... This does seem to work very well. I think that this is like... This looks like a counter... There's... He has a very specific... Animation for this. He has such a specific animation for it. Oh. I should not have broken free. All right, send that. We swap to you because we need to build up back up MP. We just we just got a vibe. That being said, I do want to apply the poison. It'll like it'll do something eventually. Oh god. Restore 250 HP to the eye. That's a no go. Sit times 18. It's that's if it crits. You just do that, you get him out of the way. Whoop, whoop. We're vibing. I mean the poison is starting to stack up. Bang, bang. We're at full here. Give it the funny man. Give it the funny man. Uh, Eight damage. I don't really care about that. We are going to want to refill. I'm going to do it now. And we can see what provoke does. Yeah, I mean, it does what I thought it would do. You could provoke. Here's the thing that you could do that's kind of interesting is you could provoke break shift turn back to that character defend like i guess that's sort of something i'm not that particularly worried about it though so i think i am just going to keep on stacking up the poison for the funny like we're going to get that poison up to an amount that's actually uh worth having for damage on this big bowie oh do we need to heal no we really don't. I feel like it's a bit of a sloggy fight, though, I will say. Bonk, bonk. Blip, blip. The thing is, it gets so close to break, too. <laughs> 24. Throw the shield at him. We could block that if we're feeling a little wilder, but... Look at this. We're like... Wait... We 
we actually we're not infinite but i wonder like if you could go infinite if somebody has a three turn move you could probably go infinite a three attack move eight whatever uh we do need to do some attacks to get some magic back so we just do a little bit of this 32 poison enemy intent is unknown we definitely want to stack back up a little bit oh god The other characters will do it for us. What is happening, man? The chain is so busted. We need to get some free some freebies. Cause we'll do we'll do this. We will break again. We throw it back to you. Boink boink, because we need to get the mana back. Boom, boom. Because then we can throw... This is three. We break again. Though we have to... Uh, we have to send back here. Holy crap. 44 poison a turn now. Like, that's actually respectable damage. You do have to go. Like, we can't keep this guy here. Um... vibe oh we get so much mana back for that so much we get the break we do want to stop your channel with pandy bonk bonk why so much hp on this fool maybe because i wasn't supposed to be able to do this Okay, how much do we have? We absolutely can stack this. 52. 54. <laughs> how I beat the final boss by just kind of like barfing all over him. Uh, we don't have the magic. We got to get more back. I feel like there's probably some kind of freaking... Um, there's probably a badge that breaks this even more. Was I not supposed to beat this guy? Because the fight feels so sloggy. That it feels like it's um, not on purpose. That this would be this way. We're going to need to send it back. We don't have the mana. <laughs> I'm just, I just going like quasi-infinite here. I feel like... Is it, this, is it our speed? And then Pandy can uh, can just do an attack to generate a little bit more mana here. Then we're back up. 64, Nintendo 64 poison. We swap it. 66. Because the thing is, otherwise we're generally just trying to stall this fight, you know? That's just kind of the vibe. I mean, we might as well just... Why you get to go so many times in a row is a little beyond me. What is this? If you don't have the mana, we go for this for the double attack. It gives it, it gets us closer to the break. I <laughs> just come on, man. We actually have to do a normal attack, but we do get to apply some poison for it. We get yet another another break. And we will get yet another another break here. Before all of this, before this sucker gets to play, I feel bad. Okay, what are you doing? Nine damage. You're doing the summon. What is this? Spirit infused damage increased by five per stack. Gotcha. I'm going to hit you with a... Just, we do need to get it. Okay, we crit. 
I'm already starting to do a lot more purr. Like, I think it's just supposed to be this, that kind of like cute final boss in a party based RPG vibe where like friendship and, you know, never giving up is the thing that will uh, get us to victory. But right now, it's kind of just like barfing all over him. We'll do the freaking trick. Okay, good break. 86. He's doing he's only doing eight damage. It's not like I'm particularly worried here. I will tell you, I if there is another like enemy after this, I am gonna just hit it with an I can't. <laughs> I don't have time. Because of how long the fight's going on. And I know like part of why it's going on so long is my chain reaction meme dream. But are you gonna tell me not to break the game this bad? Do you know who I am? That's, like, my thing. Uh, do we have... We do, but we might as well just wait here to get more. Because we're getting yet another break. We're at almost at 100. 100? It doesn't even fit! It doesn't even fit! It doesn't even fit, man. All right. <laughs> okay 103 3b I mean I'm just gonna we might as well right all right go 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 105 107 wait now it got fixed So dumb, I love it. Alright. Three times eight is definitely painful. We could just have I think we'll just have Pandy block, right? We've never blocked once this game. Why hasn't he blocked? Does it look like I need him to? I think they should learn how to block. Okay, as soon as it gets to Pandy's turn, we will do that. But I don't know if it's getting to Pandy's turn. Like, for real, for real, I think we might not make it there. Oh, we're making it. We are making it there. But it is actually pretty hilariously close. Pandy, you just, you just block. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Okay. It will get to Pandy's turn, but it will not get to his turn. I don't know what's going on here. Is it is that because of my speed? That's probably because of my speed, I suppose. Sorry for what I did to your video game. I did not mean to. Done it. Boom, ba -dum, ba -da. The group finally reached the Tower of the Spirit after multiple battles. They were to, they were the end of this cursed dimension, hoping to find a way to hope to return to the some world. I'm just trying to. Inside the tower, they found themselves face to face with the one who sent them on this quest in the first place. The card seeker was there, right in front of the eye. Okay. Before they could do anything, the card seeker touched the highly desired artifact and darkness invaded the tower. The card seeker was gone, the eye shattered in pieces. As our hero approached the fragment, something strange happened. When he opened his eyes again, he was alone back at the first bonfire, far from the Tower of Spirit. The curse could not be broken. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of balance, a little bit of translation issues. Other than that, mechanically, there's some really banging things going on. I do wonder, so who did we not see? We didn't see you. We didn't see you. And then there's these others. I gotta tell you. Oh, 69, I don't have enough to unlock you. 
I'll tell you what, we would do this anyways. But I feel like Pandy's passive was so important. Your passive is that you will restore 2 MP per turn, 14 damage to a foe, the foe is channeling to 2.5 times the amount of damage instead. 3 times 7 damage to one foe. Oh my god, you absolutely can go infinite with Pandy in this guy. Well, you would need to get 6... No, it's not infinite, because it costs 6 MP. Uh, 21 damage to a foe if it kills, recover 10 HP. Reyna, when health is below 40%, all of your capacities are free. 18 damage to all foes, channel for a turn, deduce 36 damage, inflict the mark of death to all foes. If the marked enemy has 10% or less max HP, they just die. Very cool. I do wonder what these question marks are all about there. But that's been Tower of Spirit. Holy moly. That is that and it's going to do it for today. My name is Reshamation. I cover any games every single day with an extra stretch between roguelikes and roguelites. It's a very neat little game. I, I love the, you know, I love the battle mechanics. That final fight took up far too much of a percentage of the run. Yes, it was a little bit because of the infinite capability, infinite E capabilities of, of my team that I set up. But that needs to be accommodated for, obviously, as well, right? That needs to be considered. And also, it's like, what, am I going to not do that to guarantee the victory? It's kind of like... I don't know. Yes. I'm just not usually a fan of... I feel like give that boss less HP and he loses less HP per turn. Like, by... I, I think that would help so much, right? Like, he had whatever... He was losing 500 HP a turn. I think it just... Chop down his max HP by five times... And also chop down that HP by five times that he loses or something, right? Like, lose 100 each turn. Like, I, I think that it's a little too time-gated in that way. That being said, it was a weird it was a weird one, but I'm not usually a fan of, like, of that style uh, of kind of, like, just stay alive forehead. But, alas, really cool game. Love the battle mechanics. Love the badge system and how it was utilized. So many fun decisions, really fun, interesting synergies between the different characters. I liked it a lot. I hope that it gets future updates, such as, you know, more, like, you would absolutely just run into a lot of the same badges, uh, and that would start to probably get old. But, like, a big update down the line with, like, a bunch of badges and a bunch of characters. Like, and I see this being super, super, super good and replayable. Uh, as of right now, I do wonder, you, you know, you'd have the run with the different characters, but as far as... How would the run look? It might be relatively similar, but God, it's, it, it was it was a good time. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel, Rogue Likes, and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.